tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, um, my name is Junior. I'm an art director mm -hmm. and um, I've been living in Japan for almost 10 years. And that's really long, I know. Just like my actual name. It's Vanderlei Beringuji, it's very long. And um, yeah, I love Japan and I'm gay. Very gay. Very gay. What does LGBTQ empowerment mean to you? That's a, that's a tricky one. Um, because I believe that the word empowerment incites given power. It's, you know, having your rights. But it's very hard to talk about it in Japan since there is no recognition, there are barely no rights, no real rights. So uh, let's talk about empowerment, which is giving power and, and giving one's rights to it. You grew up in Brazil and spent your earlier years there. Um, how is the LGBTQ community different or similar in Brazil versus Japan? People in Brazil are far more open and it's there is far more understanding within the community because um, I can't say the community has existed for longer because that would be a lie but the community has had exposure for longer and there is always the cultural fact and the, the society fact of it which is in Brazil um, being gay is not a part of who you sleep with is a part of who do you love I truly believe that if you don't change locally, you cannot expand any ideas you have for any topic. And for me, it's quite the same. At work, I'm, I'm openly gay. And I like that because people ask me, oh, you are gay? Yes. And I, I get the chance to explain to them what does it mean to be gay. And being truth to who I am, that's number one. Also, um, trying to create, a, let's say, a presence or a voice to what I believe. And that is, I don't know, um, on Instagram I get lots of, of questions. And even on like um, dating apps, people reach out like, oh, I watched your video online or I watched your interview and, and this and, and that was nice. And some, some young straight girls come talk to me. Hey, I, I loved your video. It was really nice. I really liked it. And for me, that is the best because they are ready to listen they are ready to be like hey i hear you and you are yes you're a human being you exist so i think that is the one small thing i can do and i believe other people could actually do it um i know it's a huge step there is like a, a whole big thing on coming out at work maybe because i'm i'm a foreigner i i get a a, a free pass but I also believe that if you just are really good at what you do, who you love and whatever the fuck you do has nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> but I think contemporary artists and thinkers are the people that I really look up to, like Zygmunt Baum and um, Elizabeth Gilbert and Martha Graham are people that I believe made, are still making um, very strong statements on not um, empowerment or, or who do you love or whatever, but who do you want to be? Where, where do you want to be from now? And where do we want to be from now? Um, Zygmunt Bauman has been talking about the liquid society and how we are actually in a liquid state and society is changing the focus from acting one way into acting a different way, which is basically because of these little things over here. Um, I like being inspired by those ideas that tickle my brain in a like wait should I act like this like or maybe we are all acting like this and so on Do you have a message to other LGBTQ people or those who support the community yes come out that's it 